Hey, how are you? This is Pastor Kent. <clears throat> and this morning, today, this afternoon, this evening, we're looking at the prophecy of our leaders of our country. <clears throat> it says in the Bible, um, I should have looked this up before. Well, Psalms, um, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12 says, Why do the nations rage and the peoples in vain? The kings of earth set themselves as rulers of counselor to tensions against the Lord, against his anointed, saying, let us burst their borders across the cast of their cords for us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. They will speak them with wrath and terrify them in fury. Um, You know, we need to stand and make our leaders accountable. Um, if you're in the States, we need to make that bigot racist accountable for what he's doing. Siding with no one, sex offenders, and siding with those that uh, are accused of sexual assault and sexual molestation and rape and, you know, it, it, it's disgusting, okay? Now, if you want a true example of what a uh, minister or a leader of a country is supposed to be like. Case in point is right in today is Justin Trudeau. Okay? I mean, this man is making amends with uh, China. You know, he made amends with the uh, Native American peoples and the Aboriginal people. Okay, he's making amends to those um, that were uh, victimized in Quebec, uh, that they couldn't wear the karam. Okay, this is the kind of leader that we need to stand behind. Okay, in the States, you need to get him out quick as quick can be. Okay. Um, if you're on my friends list and you have access to the uh, special force that's investigating this, please, please, for God's sake, let them know that they need to get them out. You know, they need to get him out of there. Uh, Trump is ruining America. He's destroying it. He's wrecking it. As Canada is building up this nation, I mean, I see Canada, you know, if it continues taking over the states, I really do, you know, 
because we are coming into the last days and we need to make this right. Um, you know, um, there's a scripture that I want to quote to you today from the Jewish Complete Bible. Praise be to Adonai, the God of Israel, because he has visited and made ransom and liberated his people by rising a mighty devourer who is descendant of his servant David. It is just as he spoke through the mouth of the prophets at the very beginning. You know, we need to make our leaders accountable, you know, and if they're not being accountable, we need to put them on it. Let me pray a blessing on you. Abba, I pray a blessing on all my state's friends that listen to this message. And I pray that thou might comfort them. Yintala shinta. Children, children of my states, I hear your cry, I hear your pain, I know your agony. I am there, and I am working on it. Fear not, for Adonai is doing the work. Canada, I'm a proud Canadian. I've always been a proud Canadian, and I pray a blessing on each and every one of you that follow me. I pray that the Messiah may know and be comforted with you. And I say these things in Yeshua's name. Native, native. I hear your cry. I hear your pain. Your Reward is near. Please stay faithful to me. Children, children of the cross, feel free to worship me, for I hold you in high regard as well. Thank you, Eva, for being here. Bless, guide, strengthen, and keep us in all that we say, in all that we do. We say these things in your precious name. Amen. Yeah,